Good day everyone. In this video, I will show you how to send a Word document that cannot be edited. So to do this, firstly, open the Word document you want to use. So I'll be using this one right here. So when done, the next thing for you to do is to click on File, then click on Save As. So when done, double click on this PC to continue. So to bring out this dialog box, click on where you want to save it to. So I'll be saving it to desktop. So when done, you can then give it a name. Why about three 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 three? So when done, you can then come to this tool right here, click on it, then click on general options. So right here where you see the password to open, enter the password of your choice. Seven 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 seven. No. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So enter the password again, which will be the same. Seven 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 then give it any password of your choice so when done click on read only which is one right here then click on protect documents so when done you can then click on save as you can see after this the next thing for you to do you will see this restrict editing settings right here then click on the second which is edit restriction so click on it, then come down here, then click on everyone. So and then scroll down, then click on yes, start enforcing protection. So you can then enter the password 77777. Then re-enter the password 77777. So when done, click on OK. So right now this has been done. So let's open this one right there, close it. Then save it. So as you can see, here is the document which we has passworded from editing. So the next thing for you to do is to double click on the document for it to open so we can confirm it. So right now, I've double click. So let's give it time for it to open. So right now, as you can see, the document has been opened. So let's not type, let's not, let me not try typing inside this box. So as you can see right now, as I'm trying to type, if you read below the button right here, you can't make this change because the selection is locked. So that's why I can't type anything inside this box. So the next thing for us to do right here is to send it to email. Because here we said how to send a Word document that cannot be edited. So the next thing for us to do is to open any browser on your PC, as you can see, here's the document. Why about tech 3333? So, next thing for us to open any browser on your PC. So, I'll be using the Chrome browser. So, click on it for it to open. Then, when it has done open, you can then log in to your Gmail address. So, right here, as you can see, I've logged in to this Gmail account, which is my own. So, the next thing for you to do. Is to click on the compose button, which is this one right here. Let me close this. So click on the compose button, which is this one right here. So when not clicking on the compose button, so where you have to just enter the email you want to send the document to, the email address, which is uh, for you at gmail.com. So the next thing for you to do is to enter the subject. Here is okay. The okay, the listing documents. So when done, you can then add some description to it. Please find attached documents. So when done with this, you can then attach the file to the Gmail. So click on this attach button right here. So when you select where you have the document, where the document is saved on your PC. So select the location, which is for my own, I see it on desktop. So click on desktop. 
So when done, you can then select the file, which is this one right here, Y battery 3333. So when done, click on open. So as you can see, the document is uploading to the email. So when done, when you are done doing this, you can then click on the send button. As you can see, it's sending. So the message has been sent. So when the person receives the message, when you open the message and you want to try to edit or type something on top of it, the person won't be able to do the editing or typing until you give the person the password for him to do the changes. So that's how to do this. Hope this video helped. Please give it a thumb up. Please. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.